Oops. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, crash number two. Hey guys, thanks for joining the channel. Today's ride day. That's my first time riding in southern Alberta. We're going to hit the uh, Porkies, also known as the Porcupine Hills. So we'll try to see what well, we got into. Right now it's about plus five, plus six, um, and then there's not much snow. Uh, the ditches are full of water, kind of uh, in here anyway. So we'll kind of look at what uh, kind of riding situations I'll get in. Dirt bike studded up. You've seen that up in the last episode that I uploaded. So I'm kind of excited to get uh, get going. Got everything settled inside my truck. So my equipment, my audio. Hopefully we'll get you a great video. And yeah, guys, we'll see you at the trailhead. Just gonna meet my buddy uh, Garrett in Pincher Creek at the Timmy's. I'm gonna grab some something quick to scarf down. And then, yeah, we're going to take the 45-minute trip out to the Porcupine Hills. So, guys, thanks for coming along, and let's take off and have this adventure rolling for you pretty soon. rabbits and dogs keep all your animals happy and well fed with one easy stop find them in the heart of Roxburn across from Perlich Brothers Auction CCWG Livestock Supplies quality feed products you need at great prices you deserve well guys we're back on the trails we're seeing it out in uh, studs <laughs> so I have no idea where I'm going Garrett locked his keys in his truck and uh, he's got to go up about an hour up a hill to get cell service to get uh, to his wife come to bring the keys. We're about 45 minutes from town, so we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to play around here. So welcome, thanks for coming by and seeing some of this lovely stuff. Woo! This is icy, and I'm not used to it, so. I'm not going to be... Pure ice. It doesn't feel different. Steer clear of what? That's actually pretty good. I used to ice. I hated sand. Woo. Do you guys 
always get a glimpse when you go riding. Either something's broken, something doesn't work, somebody lost their keys, uh, whatever. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys uh, what you guys got into with your rides. Into the forest they go. See the big bad wolf. Good thing the bears are hibernating, or in theory should be hibernating. Haven't been out in a while, so pretty rusty. Hey guys, I'm going to uh, go take a picture. Oh jeez! Oh god, I just fell in. Oh my god, slippery. I can get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, great. Oh. Oh. That sucks. My feet got soaking wet through these boots. Oh guys. <laughs> there. It's not safe. I didn't even uh, get my feet wet riding this. Well, I guess I did. Well guys, one indication of weak ice, there's flowing water there. <laughs> so there's weak ice over here, as you can see. That's where I kind of fell in. Why didn't that occur to you? I just wanted to take a picture, and I was standing on that, and I stepped over there, and I slipped on the ice. It went right in, and they went over the boots. So, now I've got the pleasure of walking around with water sloshing in my boots for the rest of the night. <laughs> Now this is where I wanted to see to go up. Wow, look at this gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Guys, I'm like, this is blowing my wet socks off. This is so nice. So for a minute, I want to give uh, a special thanks to Josh and Nat from MVDBR. They have really uh, stepped up as... Ooh. <sighs> she don't like that at all. I gotta do some carburetor adjustments. Anyway, where I was... I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Josh and Nat from MVDBR. They're always not only amazing dirt bike riders and they got a couple other dual sport adventure bikes, uh, but they've been great. Uh, always comment it, commenting on my channel. And so I'd just like to take a moment and uh, say thanks to Nat and Josh at MVDBR. I will link their channel uh, in, my, in the description below. Uh, so check it out. You will not be disappointed. They are from Australia and they go riding all the time and I'm jealous. But actually not anymore. I think I got a good paradise. So let's, uh, let's go back to the truck because uh, I got to get the water out of my uh, boots somehow. <laughs> Take your boots off. So what do you think? This is paradise, except <laughs> I got my feet soaked in the ravine there. Glad? Did you go down to the stream? Well, I was going down to the stream and I said, oh look, I went on the bridge. I said to my camera, I had to uh, change the battery. I said, oh, this will be a nice picture. I said, so I'll just go down on the bank and just take a picture. Mm -hmm. And then I slid and the ice cracked and then I got to my knees. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, like wet, wet. oh yeah, I got puddles in them. Just a fire? Oh, I'm good. Lots of fun. The Porkies. 
this guys is awesome I love it thank you so much for coming along on this adventure a uh, shout out to uh, my buddy Jesse who I just met that helped me with the studs and Garrett for taking me out even though you know I was kind of uh, a newbie extraordinaire but uh, yeah guys if you're new here stick around there'll be more trails like this I'm gonna go ring out my socks once again so thank you for watching Soupy Socks Adventures we'll catch you on the next episode please like subscribe and share and we'll catch you next time later guys